Okay, so hello everyone and welcome to this webinar on introduction to Jira. So today we have uh, Monia Sayed Ali with us all the way from Egypt. And uh, she's an agile coach, uh, work with Vodafone, Ireland, Egypt, Saudi and Kuwait. And also she represented her organization in various large conferences in uh, Lisbon and Dubai. And today she is going to take session on Jira tool. And uh, this session is divided into two parts. More details will be shared by Moni soon. And before I hand over to her, a small request to everyone that do not forget to fill the feedback form for this Jira session at the, at the end of this session, I will uh, going to share it with the email. And if there are a few queries which are unanswered, uh, you can also mention in that Jira form and about the feedback and all those things. So it will really going to help us in our future webinars and all. So yeah, uh, without wasting much time, welcome Omni and thank for your time. Over to you. Thank you for all of you. Okay, yeah. let me share my screen. Let me first uh, introduce myself. Uh, I am Omnia, uh, an agile coach. Uh, I have uh, I have thirteen plus years of experience. Uh, I work at using Agile for more than eight years. I use different Agile framework like Kanban, XP, Scrum, and for scaled Agile, I use a Scrum of Scrum, Nexus, and the Spotify methodology. I work it for uh, multi multi international company like Vodafone and CIT Global and the like. Uh, uh, Sunad said uh, I entered a lot of events in Dubai and uh, Portugal. Um, uh, that is me, okay. Um, and the second thing, I need to send my wishes and the praying for a speed recovery for all Indians uh, and the people around the world. Uh, looking forward to seeing India back again and recover soon. Definitely, Omi. Thank you. Thanks, Omi. Yeah. Uh, can you do F5, Omni? Uh, I can just see your slides and uh, yeah, this will be better. Thank you. Okay, so uh, the agenda today uh, will be uh, for session one and session two. Uh, it will be uh, uh, session one for two day. It will be introduction for Jira software. We will take the Jira from the basic to advanced and some of the basic of the reporting. In session two, we will go more advanced on the X-ray uh, plugins and release management. And these sessions will be scheduled with uh, Sand, uh, Sonand, um, after a couple of weeks. And I think we will have more sessions according to your feedback about what you want to, uh, to know more about uh, whatever Agile or whatever Jira. So let's start with Jira. As you all know, Jira uh, now is leading the management software uh, tool. Okay, uh, it is uh, one of the popular tools uh, in the project management. Uh, Jira already uh, uh, was on the, and at the start of the beginning of uh, uh, of its executions was issue uh, for issue tracking, uh, just that. And after that, they develop more and more and more in Jira till it reached to be a project management for a lot of uh, software and other industries. We have four main products for Jira. Okay, Jira software. Uh, and this one is uh, the one I will explain today. And J Jira work management, it is very simple version of Jira and it is mainly uh, for non-technical people and simple process, okay, mainly for marketing and HR. And there is Jira services management and it is for the instance and the IT uh, development. And Jira Align, uh, this is a new product. It is already for a scaled agile team. And it is very costly, by the way. Uh, so today, most of the Scrum Masters and Agile coach mainly using Jira software for because it is built mainly for the software teams. Jira software, the target of the Jira software is planning, whatever planning uh, the sprint uh, using uh, a Scrum or planning using Kanban methodology, uh, tracking, you can tracking everything on Jira and it will be uh, um, 
very visible to the management what is happening because of that the scrum master and agile coach must ensure that jira is very up to date to the current status reporting the reporting helps a lot in uh, enhancing the users enhancing your team evaluations and enhancing the, your product as uh, a productivity and the check where we are from our uh, progress whatever in the product or the sprint release it contain release management tool and release uh, software uh, Jira have uh, two parts cloud and data center okay data center for sure for big companies uh, we are now interested more in the cloud uh, cloud uh, it is have a license free license it is limited storage and support for 10 users but take care it is limited storage with two gigabytes only okay uh, a standard and it is cost seven uh, dollar per person per month if you have more than 10 users and then you, if you have a lot of you need more storage and the premium it is 14 dollars per person and uh, the feature in the premium that it has advanced feature for roadmap and more support Jira concept. It's very important to understand this concept in Jira, okay? Because we will work on Jira uh, around these concepts. We have project categories. It is something like we classify the project. So sometimes we have like ten project or eleven project under one product line. So we, because of that, they uh, they have a project categories. Then under every project category, there is a project, a list of the projects. And under the list of the project, we have versions and components. Versions to manage the milestones and manage the releases, we will see in the demo, in our demo. Uh, components to manage uh, the subsection. It is like um, if you have a project and have a lot of modules, okay, every module is called a component. Under the project, we have an issues, okay? Issues have a lot of types. Issues in the Jira, it is not a, a bug or a problem or anything like that. Issue, it is mean any item that have a work, it is means issue. User story, epic, uh, task, feature, bug, anything call it issues in the user story, okay? Because of that, every issue have an issue, issue type to define the issue type in the Jira. You can define uh, any types of issues in Jira. Jira is a customized tool, so you can customize everything. Even if you can add technical debit, if you have a technical debit, add it as an issue. Uh, and every issue have can have a subtasks. Even when we go to the session two, we will have X-ray. Uh, they consider test cases and execution as an issue type. Okay, from here we will start our demo. Anyone have any questions about the basic of the Jira to start our demo? Hey, hi, uh, this is Gunjan. So a quick question, why we are migrating to uh, Jira Cloud actually nowadays? People are migrating to, to Jira Cloud, so what, uh, Cloud, so what is the benefit of using it? Uh, the benefits of using Jira because it has a lot of, uh, it, it make a transparency to the management, plus it have a lot of features that you can use. Uh, plus it have uh, agile, um, it is by default when you see the demo, it is already have a board, have a reporting built in. You don't need to do any extra effort. Plus, it is, has a lot of uh, a lot of products like Confluence, so you can uh, make on the cloud your documentation too. So everything is connected. I don't think in the I don't think there is a a tool contains all that features currently. So, so it, that it's is costly. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Sorry, continue. So, 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 what is the difference between a cloud uh, when we say Jira cloud and the 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 web cloud, uh, Jira actually? The question is the cloud and server or data center. Yep. 
Okay, the cloud, it will be in the cloud servers, in, um, in the servers on, on another, uh, you, you don't have the server local in your company or in another, in another, it is in the cloud. Okay, so it is in the cloud. In the data centers, they are deployments, the Jira, on their, on, in their own servers. So they are not public to anyone. They contain, they own the servers itself, the data. And most of people, they do, they, they do uh, something like that. They, uh, they need a security on their data. Maybe the security is very, um, the data like related to banking, user story related to banking or related to something like that. So they don't need uh, anyone to access it, just them. And they was having before server, okay? Uh, I was using server version before, uh, before cloud. Uh, it was more cheaper than the cloud. Uh, and now they stop uh, supporting it. So uh, most of the people now go to the cloud. Server, we are deploying everything on our server on the company. But we have the, the, the same features, the same everything. But now Jira is not supporting server license. Because of that, it has data center and cloud. OK, thank you. Thanks for the reply. Yeah. OK. Uh, I have a question. Uh, uh, am I audible? Uh, yeah, so am I audible? My question to you is, uh, what is Epix? You know, ideally, what I understand is these projects are Nothing but epics. You can classify an epic, and also you know we can work in that way. So uh, right now we are coming with these concepts of project categories and projects, but there is also epics, right? Uh, epics, and then you have user stories, right? So maybe something if yes. you can help us to explain because this is becoming a little bit complex. Maybe something on the epics. You know how do you re relate an epic to? It could be really helpful. For sure. Okay, and the demo I can uh, mention that about the epic. Okay, and we will uh, create an epic and mm. okay, yeah, okay. And one part, uh, what I see is uh, like when you said about uh, you know, you can also use uh, this for the support related activities as well. You know, uh, can we also have you know, uh, the workflows like let's say SLS, like how we have in service now kind of domain where you have you know, P1, P2, like let's say critical, high, uh, such kind of SLS. Is, uh, is it also possible in Jira, um, when you use support? Yes. Uh, Yes, it is okay. possible in Jira. And when I have session two, I will uh, give you how X-Ray support something like that very easy. But currently, even without X-Ray, it supports the priorities of the bug to make it uh, high or critical or medium. And okay. the same, you can put the, the priority also for any issue. OK, and then last question from my side. Uh, I hear there is these versions. And uh, you can also use version also to have, let's say, the CI CD integrations, right? Yes, so it is integrated with. In the demo. Yeah, if you can help us to explain in the demo, like what I understand, there are different versions, and then in that versions, also you can have the CI CD, uh, you know, su such kind of thing. So something like that, if anything on the plugins, uh, if it's possible to explain. Uh, maybe in the basics oh. if possible uh, yeah that's it okay we can we can make it uh, in next session i think because the icd and the uh, a lot of uh, parts related yeah. to the other plugins we can make it in the another session i think uh, uh, already um, sinand will send you a form uh, for what is topics we need to talk about jira more okay to focus uh, on them next sessions so you can add this topic Okay, okay. And then just sorry, I have so many questions. Sorry, I mean, uh, sorry, I, mean, I have to stop you. Sorry, okay. guys. Sorry. Please okay. uh, let let her continue because it's already 50 minutes only. I think we will please continue only. Sorry, guys. Okay. Uh, otherwise, we will not finish it on, on time. Yeah. Or please hold all your queries uh, or you can post it on a chat. We will take it at the end of the session one by yes, one. Yes, you can. Yeah. Yes, you can add your, all your questions on the chat and I will answer it on the last. Uh, uh, 15 minutes. Okay, I will go to uh, starting our demo. Yeah, please continue. Yeah. Okay, we'll stop sharing and share again uh, because I will, I need to share 
mile width. You can see my now my uh, Jira, my web view. Yes. Okay, first of thing, okay, we will go to throw this link to set up our Jira. Okay, like you see, it is it is totally free. So I will select Jira gave you a free for up to 10 users and tell uh, including two gigabyte of storage and you can select conference or Jira services as it gives you another one for free, another product for free. I'm usually select conference because I use it for uh, something like uh, uh, putting some notes for a sprint or anything like that. And make sure that conference is two giga, free for two gigabytes only, okay? So next. I am already using the, uh, already I will sign up on the uh, Atlassians with demojira20 at gmail.com. I will use uh, the site. This site, the name of the site is the one that will you used during the URL. Okay, so we can call it, it demo, uh, it takens demojira. site is already taken demo omnia okay <laughs> for sure it is not taken okay it will take few minutes the the system is now is creating the subdomain and set up the environment usually it takes like few minutes we will use, now we will use the tool that you are using uh, with your team, uh, with your team. Jira is, um, is very perfect in that, okay? It, uh, it integrates with Slack, it is integrated with all uh, your development tool you are using. Now I skip the questions because I, uh, it is not an important. Uh, one of the steps we will see is invite your team. I am suggest to always don't have a permissions to your team to invite others, because if you have a limited license, okay, they may invite more than ten. And you will uh, cost to cost more money. Okay, so I I suggest to always to the invitation to be with the Scrum Master or the project lead or the admin. Okay, for so now uh, may me invite your teammate. We can invite him now or invite in another. Uh, I will invite one person, Tester Jira, okay? And we will invite more uh, in next phase, okay? After a few minutes. Uh, it is just the statistics here, okay? Uh, use uh, Jira usually use this information for analytics and to recommend for you the best project type. So I will say everything new. We spend our time working on feature and we have a flexible schedule. Next. It will recommend for me Kanban. Okay, however, I am focused now on a Scrum. Kanban is very easy, so I will focus on uh, a Scrum uh, project. I will select create a project, make a, a name for our project. We'll say demo. If you can notice, uh, we have a key. A key is a unique reference for your project, okay? All your tickets that will be created, the ticket ID will have this key, okay? This key will be easy. If you see the ID, the ticket ID, okay, you will know, uh, you can recognize the project of this ticket. 
So demo scrum create here. Okay, it will be in another session. I will show you how to connect work across your tool. But now we are do last uh, uh, just an introduction. Now the project is created. If you can remember, we have a project project category. First, but before to before doing anything like adding anything in the backlog, or um, or starting uh, the sprint or anything, you need to configure some uh, um, some information in your project. Okay, you can do it before or after. But I almost prefer. Uh, um, before uh, uh, before creating any backlog item, okay, you need to set these configurations. So first of all, you can remember the, the four level of the Jira concept. Now we will have a project for uh, e-commercial buying products projects. To project category, and if I I, I have a company uh, that have multi e commercial e commercial category, and here. I can put a description. Okay, so now the project category created, and as you can see, there is no project under it. We will go back to our project and edit its details from project setting details, and we can change the icon. Okay, we'll upload an icon here. Uh, and put the category, e-commercial category. And we have here project lead and the default assignee. Project lead is uh, the ownership, ownership of the project, okay? So uh, anyone, the ownership of the project, so by default, by default, it is the user who creates the project. However, uh, we can change it and make it the Scrum Master, who is the, the ownership of the project or the product owner. Okay, so anyone knows this project is the project lead of it is Omnia or is anyone. Okay. Uh, default assignee. If any, if you create any issue by default, will be default assigned to this person that we will. Uh, specify here. I will be a specify project lead or tester. Oh, we need to accept the invitation. Okay. It is now safe. Have now let's invite people to our project. We already invite the tester. Let's invite more team. So we are go to user management. I have we can invite team UI UX team. I can invite to the And I can invite the tester. 
And if you can see here is a checklist, this user can invite new user and access. I don't prefer that, so I invite them without giving him an access. So now your project have a team and we already created uh, the project. Now we will go to say workflow. Every issue, okay, on our Jira have a workflow. Workflow uh, already the um, already Jira have a simple workflow to do and progress done. Okay, if we want like a user story to have another workflow, okay, like uh, to do uh, in development, then. Uh, ready for uh, code review, then in testing, then ready for first cycle or in testing, then uh, you ready for UET and then done, we can uh, customize our workflow as we need. Okay, we'll now go to return back to uh, our project. Go to project setting. You will see here the issue types. We have a bug, a story, task, and epic, and sub task. We can add an issue type, any issue or type. It is advanced, something advanced. Okay, so uh, in another session, I will see you how to add the sub tasks, how to add more issues. Yeah, we can add issues like technical debit if we have a technical debit uh, and the link it to a user story. Uh, I also prefer to add a new requirement, uh, new enhancement, okay, as an issue type. Uh, and when we integrate with X-Ray, we will see that there is a lot of issues type will be added here, like uh, test execution, test set, test plan, uh, test case. Okay. Here is the workflow of the story. That is, is the process of the user story, okay? And how people, they are uh, go from uh, a state to another state. So if I, it is a simple, simple workflow. If I want to uh, add or customize the sample, we can uh, add a status, another status in progress, like in development. Okay, add. It is a new status to workflow. So I want to from to do, okay. Anyone and to do, okay, can move to end development. And the transition, call it start development. And from development, we can add another status like to do, ready for testing as an example. So from here to here, finish development. It is simple one, okay? If we go to the bug, <laughs> we will create a very complex uh, workflow. Okay, here in testing, And from in testing, I start testing, and so on. Okay, and I don't want to, uh, and we can, the final one, okay, it, it is done 
finish testing, for sure we can have a bug, so it will go to in development again. Or we can say that it has a, another box, so uh, rejected. And here, okay. This is a not correct uh, workflow, but however, it is an example of um, more complex workflow or customize in the workflow. Okay, save. We will save. Okay. And in advance, I will tell you how to save a workflow for only story and another workflow for bug. Okay. I just make an example. Now we customize the workflow. If you can can remember the the component, okay, it is something under the the project. So we need to add a component to the project. I want to see you, you can remember the four level. I will add here, I will just here, will enable the reporting, enable the issue navigation, enable the releasing, the deployment and the on call, it is related to operations. Yeah, so that, okay. I want to, to, to let you see how the user story, okay, will look like, Okay, will look like after we uh, edit the workflow. Okay, so if we have a user story as an example, login user story. As a register user, I wanted to have the ability to log in using a register email. This user story, we can be linked to by Epic, the login Epic. Okay, we'll tell you how, and then we can go to, okay. So, and we can here add the acceptance, our acceptance criteria. And here we can check, uh, I wanted to assign it to, to developers, whatever was its name. Okay, and we can here sprint story points and the reporter. Uh, I am the one who creates the, this issue. It is demo zero. Okay, and then create. Okay, it will be created and added here in the, our backlog. We can now add a release, okay. If you know the releases, your releases, you can here create a release. Uh, I've only, I always prefer to create a release earlier, okay. So we, we just start our, uh, our project. So for sure, I will have a release 0.0.0, .0, .0. okay. It is, uh, I am using always the standard uh, version uh, code of the release. So it is the first release on our app and it will be started uh, next Monday and end after one month as an example. Okay, description, it is our first release that have user management. Okay, save. So now you can here manage all your release, the release name, okay? And I always prefer to have it as number. Uh, it is progress if it is assigned to an issue and the start date and the release date and the descriptions. I uh, will tell you how we can release it. If we go to backlog, if I open, this user story. Let me close this one. 
Okay, and I'll bring this one to view. It. Okay, you can see here fixed version. It means the release version that will be released on. Okay, so we have two values, fixed version and affected version. Fixed version shows the version that the work on the issue is released in. Affected version, if you release uh, your product to the production and there is a bug released or um, the user story have something improper or, or something like that, it is you will uh, increase the affected version, this version in the affected version, okay? So here it has become fixed in the version 1.0. If we go back to uh, our backlog, and we uh, uh, want all things version panel. Let me show you the version panel here and Epic. Okay. You can see here version 1.0, it contains this backlog. We will create more version now together. We can create another version, version 2.0.0, and we can manage it. It is after uh, the next version. This will help you um, in the release management a lot. Because you know which uh, issues will be uh, will be released in which version. Okay. Then we can create here now an epic. Okay. To manage, call it login. We'll have. I hope we will have more time because I'm still have a lot to say. Okay. I already told you. <laughs> yeah, because we are uh, giving step by step. So yeah, it will take some time. Yeah. And we can link here the epic, okay, with the user story. So um, here in the backlog. I will give you an example for everything, one example, okay, to just, I will open it in another tab. If you can see here, I wanted to see you, can you see here the transition to? It is the workflow, okay. We already did. We can move it in development, moving in progress, moving in testing, and done. Okay. Type. We can now create another user story. I will tell you test the data. and add our, it is login to. Fix it version, it is, we will say it is 1.0. And, link it to the login. I can link both to the login screen. So now login have two issues. If you can see here that login, Epic have a two, uh, have a two user stories. Okay. And we can filter with version one 
or version two and see how uh, the backlog it is it is mean backlog here management okay everything is clear now yes okay that's a very important step because uh, uh, for the different releases also you will generate different reports as well so if you do this version wise also for a higher management those people are more interested in this part not they will not yeah. go into detail to your user level level okay so this is a very important step yeah yes, you, please, yes. Please it is on. yeah very important to it is very important for scrum master and uh, and agile coach uh, to make sure that the product owners link everything like that for the versions for uh, uh, even sometimes the backlog is not related to version because we don't know when it is released but it is okay but however when we know that this would be released in version two or version three we need to link it and make our jira up to date also. Uh, it one will be helpful like to set the upper management to see. Mm. Sorry, Omnia, one quick question. So, you know, let's say, uh, let's say tomorrow our uh, story, you know, uh, is paid in a UAT, right? So, if you're adding it to a different sprint, so can we move that version, I mean, uh, that story to a different version after the sprint? Uh, it is not the... recommended, but, uh, but yes, you can edit that after, uh, uh, change the version, the version number, yes. But you cannot move the user story after the the, uh, the sprint finished from the sprint. So if the sprint finished, then it will be assigned to this sprint. You can add more sprint if it is not completed. So you can know that uh, user story uh, this user story demo one okay mm -hmm. uh, already executed in sprint one and the sprint two if it is not completed in sprint one. But for version yes, I can see you here. We can edit here version, okay, to version two. Okay, okay. Okay, and now it is in version two, we have only one, and in version one, we have only one, okay? Thank you. We can create here sprints easily, okay, from here, okay? And if you have the backlog, okay, if we can add, our items to the sprint okay and from for sure everything you can do it i just drag and drop it is very easy because the backlog but you can here change the sprint and make everything from here okay we can create another sprint okay sprint two if we the product owner knows sprint one sprint two and we already know the velocity of the team and we did the backlog refinement meetings and we get the size of every user story so yeah. before we are uh, starting sprint okay yeah, so just want some knowledge sharing over here if you can see in that uh, story which is created in that you can also have uh, different epics linked and you can also have uh, the components link so if you are using in a mini brick project you can also tie the on that same uh, story you can also have uh, the stories and epics also link so this can also help you to track it well just for some information yes yes if, so if we here i want to uh, see a login epic okay you can see here login okay i can see here that uh, the user story of the login contain already in a sprint one let me just a minute the login epic here sprint one uh, have a two user story for the login if we can i can create another epic uh, yeah and uh, just for some information as well just some knowledge sharing you can also have story points also added over here so when you're doing some yes. estimation you can also use yes. so there is a way uh, here you need to con you need to click on that configure fields and then you can also use if you want to have some story points here so this can also have a good way to estimate so that is the beauty of jira so yeah Yes, it's applicable. I will tell you how. It is the time management. I will give you a quick. Now for a story point every and for time tracking. We can here in the demo one, open it. Okay. And you can here, you can add your story points of this user story uh the login user story it is maybe five story points 
Okay, and in the backlog, let me here. You will see it is added here. Okay, five. And if we but edit this one too. Story points estimate to S3. We can In fact, see uh, yeah, just to add, uh, yeah. even before if you are pulling anything from backlog to your ongoing sprint, right? It has to be have some story points in that. Exactly. I guess otherwise it will throw an error message or otherwise if you do it afterward, if you add those story points, let's say after one day or two days, right? It will show like a spike. So it will treat it as a different user story. Even though you have added this on a day one, but because you're not added your story points, it will uh, take it as a different spike. It will uh, change that scope, yeah? So it's always advisable to update your story points in your backlog. Obviously you will do it in, uh, before in, in your refinement session, right? And then only you will drag in your uh, planning session, right? So yeah, just for our demo purpose, it's okay, but yeah, always do this before. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. What I am seeing now, I am telling you from where you can access it, but not. Uh, I am not doing. Uh, it, it should be in the backlog refinement when he add and um, user stories. It should be added with the initial sizing. Okay, that happens in the backlog refinement. Okay, we can now. Uh, I need to configure the time. Uh, the time tracking. From here, we can configure time tracking if we have a multi-tool, so it will be display here. So we are using the time tracking by default of, of the Jira. We have working hours per day eight and working days five. We will not need, uh, I, I just here, I want to display the days like here for days and the default unit I need it to be hours and save. It is this our configurations. In the board, it is your board that the management will, will see. This board usually have or it is have our active sprint. Okay. The sprint planning before the sprint planning, you need to make your board is uh, is have the columns that you need. Okay, and you can manage your board from here. I just need to them. Okay, here is. Okay, the columns that we have ready for testing and development done in progress to do. Okay, you can adjust it as you want. I will remove in development for now. The lights. It is always um, create the column according to your workflow. So because I am adding in my workflow ready for testing, so it add a column ready for testing. Okay, you can remove it or you can uh, keep it as you want. But for a demo, okay, we remove it. Okay. However, in my board, my original board, I already uh, making uh, five column. So here in development, I will say it will be any in user story in development will be set under in progress. Any ready for testing, I will say it is to do. Anything in testing will be in progress. Okay. So any user story, any issue will be in the following status, okay? It will be under in progress uh, column. Now, here is the three columns. Okay, that we are already did it. Okay. We can start uh, our uh, sprint from here. We have only 
10 minutes, so we'll start it. And we'll give you how. So once you start, you say, um, you make sure that sprint name is correct. Uh, for sure, it is in sprint planning. In the sprint planning, you um, the team set the subtasks, the estimate of the subtasks. Uh, we can simulate anything. Uh, and uh, for sure, uh, if your sprint is two weeks and it is worth, it will start today. Okay, it will automatically will calculate the end date and uh, define sprint goal. Here the user can log in to our system. That is the sprint goal of our sprint. If we did a start, it will start like you said. And here we'll give you the numbers of days. Uh, here you can see the sprint goal that we set because to be visible for all your uh, team members to have one goal every day. And you can here uh, for sure filter by anything, assignee, subtask, epic, whatever. Uh, you can also uh, if we press here, the user story, we can move it, whatever, move it from here. It is easy for the developer always it, to move it here, to move it like, like that. So I can move it here in development, okay, and go back to done or go back to any uh, transition or any state. If we refresh this one, I will see it is now in development. I can make it ready for testing. So here will be up to date. So it, it returned back to to do because we configure, if you can remember, we configure our board as ready for testing come to to do. back to our board. We can make it done. And now if we back again to our project. Our board, it will be here done. In releases, if you can see, uh, because there is one user story only in the version 1.0, so it is automatically now it is done. Uh, and the release button started to be there, okay, to make it release. So if I make it release, it will be tell me when the release date. If I say now it is really it is now today. It will be released and move to release the version. So now this software is released and to contain the following user stories. Okay. If we have more versions in the version, it will be here say what is the status, who is to do in progress, and who is done. I will come back to our backlog. You, you can see here that our backlog is up to date. And we can complete the sprint if we finish it, for sure, yeah. And we can create more uh, user stories. Uh, because we have only uh, six minutes left on the session, I will make the time uh, tracking and reporting uh, and release management in next session. Okay, and I will try to uh, to answer some of your questions. Hopefully, I uh, 
the six minutes can. Okay, scalability is high in cloud. They bear use. Yeah, so by the time yes, we exactly. The uh, Umni, I just want to clarify one thing. Um, I don't know about a uh, lot of people, but all these things you have to do one time, all these workflow setup and all, right? So you don't have to do it again and again. If someone is new to the Jira and they are not aware about, because we are talking about basics. So because I can see some of the people uh, posted, right? That they are lost in that uh, conversation, uh, you know, here and there. So for them, yeah, uh, it's a one-time setup and obviously it's a recorded session. So you will go back and check it one by one and you have to do it yourself. Until unless you will do it, uh, you will not going to learn it, okay? So whatever she told is very, in a very step-by-step -step manner, okay? So just follow that and you will be able to create your first Jira project, I am sure, yeah? And obviously, for all your queries, next session is all obviously there. And Omni, I will suggest let's have maybe two hour session next time or something like that. Yeah, I think so. It will not uh, going to cover in one hour for that for sure, yeah? Yes, okay. for me, I'm doing that in just half an hour. <laughs> yeah. That's why it's a planning, it is take time. You, uh, you might have shown your uh, project, which you already created, but then they will not understand that way. So exactly. my, I think it's okay if we are taking time, but I think, uh, yeah. So yeah, it's good like you are telling each and every step because I'm sure a lot of people are not aware about all the setup, how to configure all those things. So these are the, and see, we cannot cover each and everything in one hour. Still, I can see there are a lot of things which I personally want to tell, right? But I'm holding myself because otherwise it will disturb the whole session. So, yeah. But I think to a starting, it's just a good to start. Yes, with. for. To start. Uh, yes. Uh, like uh, it is, will be done only one time. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, I know it is a lot of information in one session. Uh, so if you just follow today, okay, before you forget, if you uh, hear again the record and try again by yourself, it is already Jira is a free, okay? So you can just sign up on email and Gmail account uh, and sign up in Atlassians for free trial and try uh, everything in Jira. And at least the point is that I am uh, I did in the record, okay? And write your questions uh, and send it uh, in our form and I will answer it uh, in the next session. But yeah, so, yeah. because in the next se sessions, I will depend on the first session, okay? So if you are coming in next session, please make sure that you have uh, created your Jira setup yourself and then only it will be good to ask questions and send those questions uh, one or two days before so that you know she will be also prepared and maybe we can combine uh, four or five common questions right on me instead of taking one by one we can combine we'll see like okay four or five questions on the same so let's say some people have some uh, you know difficulty in in whatever right so we will combine those four or five questions something like that so please do okay. that yeah so i can see pretty yeah okay i can here. I can see now that the, uh, it is about cloud. Yes, cloud is very, um, some of people answer about the cloud uh, uh, point. Yes, it is, cloud is is known. It is now the trending because uh, like uh, Nitin say that uh, it is not need installation setup. It does not need maintenance for your company. Uh, it is always managed by another uh, another company okay like if you have a back end you can uh, set up it on amazon cloud or google cloud it is already a lot of uh, uh, companies now is using cloud and most of the application now using cloud uh, i am yeah and the reporting part sure, like uh, a model function or business value yeah. planning to deliver it will be uh, obviously in the next session all your metric burn down chart and how to do that. All those reporting part will be also, also there. So Omni, I think we have to uh, take at least two hour session, something like that, because uh, we are not going to finish uh, all this in one hour, that's for sure. Okay, yes, for sure. Uh, someone saying uh, we can select the Scrum ban in Jira. Yes, you can select anything on Jira. You can customize, you can not see how I customize Jira. I customize everything in Jira. So you can use it uh, for anything uh, or any um, framework. 
Okay. Meantime, you are taking uh, questions. And I will you? take a note. Yes, yeah. sir. Uh, I can cannot see yes, more, but I will take a uh, webcam for one minute so that I can take at least one picture of all of you. If it's possible, guys, can you open your uh, webcams for just two minutes before we close? Yeah, thank you, Sachin. Sula is, I think, gone. Manoj, Amya. Can I request other people also? Okay. Guys, please open your webcam just for five minutes. That's okay. That's okay. I have not even taken a bath. Okay, so a lot of people join. Yeah, Shankari, Pallavi, Rakesh, Naveen, Anita, Vijay, Upendra, Manish, Dino, uh, Madhu, Vishad. Yeah, so guys, please definitely you have to join our next session because most of this is just a basic if you are not aware about, even if you are aware about because sometimes I also got confused in versioning and all those things. So it's good to know just to refresh. But your next session is going to be useful and it's always good if you shared your uh, doubts, uh, questions well in advance, so we can group it, yeah. It is very important to answer uh, our uh, uh, our form, okay. Uh, it is like a retrospective for me, okay. Uh, and to know your uh, questions and what is was, uh, wasn't was clear in the sessions, okay, to enhancement in the next session. Okay, all your concerns, write it in the form. I will send the form to uh, Sonat and he will send it to you by email. Yeah, so I will share the feedback form in that there is a column for questions. So all your queries, but I will suggest take some time. Uh, if you have not done this before, just download Jira, it's freeware. And if you do it, then only ask question, then it will make more sense rather than just asking. And if you're already doing it, you can always share your real life challenges and all those things. So we can also, uh, if time permit, we can also take those challenges. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and I will cover everything. I can see Kanban and so on. So we will cover it. Just to put it in the form. Okay. Uh, you want to take any queries? So Omni, which is already posted in this uh, chats, uh, there are a lot of, if you have time. Yes, I will. Just, just go through maybe one or two. I can see someone I posted holidays and all. So can we configure those holidays? We can configure the holidays and I will see you. Uh, I'm using the, in my team blog on call it a stru uh, structure. Uh, it is a very uh, helpful uh, uh, plugin for the timeline mm -hmm. uh, and for managing everything. Okay. Um, for managing also team holidays, for managing uh, uh, doing uh, a different calendars for every user. It is an amazing one. Okay. A uh, few questions are very basic, which uh, you guys can also post in our WhatsApp group. For okay. example, sprint timeline is static until the budget. So this is, not, I don't think it's related with Jira. Uh, does ability, yeah. Is your already answer? We can configure public holidays and Saturday, Sundays, everything that's doable. What else? Mm. Yeah, you have to do your own setup. Okay. Arena holidays can be doable. Uh, workflow edit, Shankri, you need to create the workflow first. You will face a lot of challenges because when I have created my workflow, I have created, uh, I felt lost, honestly. So you have to try your workflow. You have to be very clear, like what is step, how similar is which you want in your project. Uh, navigation, modified investment, yeah. You can customize board as what, whatever you want in columns, anything you want that is totally customizable. If you have the proper rights, you can do anything in Jira. Uh, what else? Uh, any, any, any queries? Let me check. Uh, we can do costing also. What do you mean by costing? Furkan. 
I think oh. he meant uh, billing, Sanan. Uh, billing. Like you know the the charge which goes for the this thing, right? Uh, like the per use user, I think. Honestly, I haven't done that. Uh, Omni, you have done anything similar? I didn't know. Uh, what is the question? Uh, it's regarding to costing, billing, and all. Like so, I think it's uh, a one. Yeah, you can do it uh, by Tempo. There is a Tempo plugin available in Jira, and you can do the costing through Tempo. So if you have logged your hours, like let's say three hours or four hours, let's say on the task or the project, you can use Tempo. So I've been using it. So you can use Tempo to bill directly. Oh, you okay. mean to say the burn rate can be calculated by this Tempo? Uh, you can uh, you can log in your hours like let's say uh, you have been working for okay so uh, uh, I, I think, think we have not shown, uh, Omni, we have not shown them like how to log their efforts on day to day basis in the user story right so I think you will cover that in when we create a task and all right because uh, everyone can go and log into their task at the end of the day and they can log their efforts right I will cover the reporting in the next and the time tracking how to yes. uh, how to submit the working hours and yeah. how to make an original hours with the default uh, with the default time tracking for jira i will focus more about the without adding any plugins or without adding anything how to use jira and then we can uh, after that use uh, for more advanced use we can use the plugins like structure x-ray tempo like you said yeah. but usually yeah. i don't use tempo using the, the default uh, tracking yeah. And time management. Okay. Okay. What else? Yeah, so this subtask we will cover in next session. Okay, so for those using MS Teams, there is a Jira plugin. Yes. So if you are using MS Teams, no need to even uh, open your Jira. You can, you know, just uh, from Teams itself, MS Teams itself, Microsoft Teams itself, you can update your Jira. So you, you don't have to log into the Jira for uh, logging your efforts and all those updates. That is again doable, Adil. Okay. Yeah, so I can see it's a mix uh, kind of people. Some are very uh, experienced and some are like, very beginner, so uh, mix of questions over here. Some are very advanced level question, and some are very basics. So yeah, it's a. It's a is it possible for a uh, MS Teams uh, plugins access? If you have any link or something, I will. I will share you. Yeah, I I am doing that in my project, so I can do that. Thank thanks, Sunan. Yeah. Uh, Sunan, I have a question here. Uh, we have a user story, and uh, there are some uh, tasks being assigned to that user story. Uh, so in that case, like uh, how uh, the done will be calculated, I mean, uh, uh, we are not doing anything with the user story, but we are going to uh, split up that user story into the task and we are going to complete that uh, task. So when, when we move the uh, user story, it's will all the task yeah. also... Yeah, yeah. So it's a known drawback of Jira and I think it's a known uh, interview questions as well. I'm not sure about how many have, have, who have faced this. But it's a known drawback of Jira that, okay, let's say I have one user story and I have 10 subtasks. And maybe if someone else also can, Amya, you can also uh, add over here. So if you have to uh, drag your, you know, all the, your subtasks to done, your user story will or not automatically will be done. So you have to um, and you have to do market as done. Uh, uh, there is a way in the cloud, uh, you can uh, set a rule, okay, say if all the user stories is done, you can move it to another status. Okay. So good. it is now doable in the cloud. Okay. So yeah, it's a old interview questions, which uh, normally people ask like how you will do it. But if yes. you uh, can do that, then it's good. You yes. And I'm usually uh, too using another plugins. Um, for the post conditions. So um, if I wanted to stop the developers to move the task to done without all the subtasks, all the subtasks is, is uh, closed, I can do something like that too in Jira. And I am doing that because it is very useful to not moving the user story to done without closing all the subtasks. Yeah, so if we can add those rules is good because I think not uh, all the organization will buy all those plugins, honestly. 
so uh, because i'm aware about rules so for example uh, some tasks are not moving more than 3 days or something right so we can change your colors and all those things so it will be visible so that i am already doing that but uh, this i maybe like i also missed it's so good to know that that we can also mark user story as done if the all the sub tasks are done yeah so i guess it is by default without plugin yeah yeah so apart from plugin if it's doable then it's good but yeah because most of the organization only not buy all those plugins yeah right? i know so yeah, yeah. so oh, yeah i will try that if it's doable yeah. will the recording be seen yeah don't worry it will be available on our channel so you can go okay. back and always uh, amia you have also faced something similar uh what is you know i'm just checking what? with uh, amia uh kolkarni the oh, okay yeah no uh, in this uh, as you said there is this workflows available so yeah uh yeah for, for personally we all tell people to move the user story uh yeah the task but then in the board you can also see the task so on that user story you can also see the task which are there so uh yeah, you, when you are moving the story you also see the task which are moving on the board so you can have different uh, ways to see the board uh when when you use a scrum board or the kanban board you can also see the detailed task yeah and uh, what i can also do is sunan uh, uh, there is uh, uh, i don't know whether you are aware of how uh, there is a plural site as well which is also available for you know uh, co courses and i see there is a good uh, uh, training available for jira as well uh, but the only challenge is i guess it's only uh, 30 days free but if uh, the, the there is a good concepts available on the jira platform uh, so if you are fine i can share it over here for uh, maybe especially to you and then however uh, sunan yeah that's that's perfect you yeah. okay Okay. So Omni, I think yeah, we have already uh, crossed our uh, yeah time limit of one hour. Yes, our hour. I will uh, request you for our next session should be at least for two hours minimum. Because, okay, let's yeah. Uh, based on your ability. yeah, let's collect all the information. Yeah, yes, yeah. collect all the questions and the topics that uh, most of the people want. Okay, and uh, check the schedules of the next sessions. Well, because I can see some people need reporting and another people. Uh, yeah, so we cannot see the some basic. basic. Still, everyone requests. So we have to understand this, right? So we will uh, take all the requests and we'll see like what is more feasible. Exactly. We are using on day-to-day -day basis. That will make more sense, right? rather than i'll yeah, yeah. Uh, find out something which i'm not even using doesn't make sense for us right so uh, yeah we'll uh, try yeah. to uh, few topics which is more uh, which we are using on day to day basis as a scrum master that will make more sense right yeah okay okay thank you everyone okay. for your time everyone. and for attending the sessions okay thank so i will uh, yeah i will share there uh, that excel sheet uh, same google form and you can uh, yeah update that feedback or what are the queries which you have or what you uh, really want to look into the next session so we'll uh, try to cover that yeah thanks everyone thank you sunan thank you thanks sunan yeah, thank you sunan thanks sunan thanks sunan thanks sunan thanks sunan sunan thank you thank you sunan thank you sunan thank you Thank you. Um, I appreciate. Thanks, Sonam. Thank you all. Bye. I'm closing this session now. Yeah. Okay.